Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to share with everyone what is the cultivation's three major components in Buddhist philosophy. In order we can seek in for relative truth of cultivation and attain to ultimate truth of enlightenment, there are three major components during our self-cultivation path. The first, we need to acknowledge and realize the suffering of being in samsara, suffering being in birth, rebirth, death, in samsara. This samsara, all the being non-stop circling their life, death, within these six rooms until one day free of the samsara. In order we are able to free ourselves from the samsara, the first we need to understand what is renunciation. Once we already recognize ourselves, we want to free of this suffering, being in this sixth throne of samsara, then we are able to raise renunciation from this samsara. That is the first component, renunciation. We uh, understand we are in the suffering in this samsara. We want to have termination, we want to free of this suffering of the being in samsara. So we need to have renunciation liberate ourselves from this samsara. And the second major component of our self-cultivation path is bodhicitta. Once we have this termination of we want to liberate ourselves from the samsara, we also need to apply to all being. Then practice our great compassion, attain Bodhicitta. In order to raise in the Bodhicitta within, the most important is to raise in the great compassion, unconditional love, not only to ourselves, to all the being. To realize all the being is all suffering in this samsara. As I already explained earlier, the first step of cultivation path is renunciation. Once we already feel the true suffering in this samsara, and we would like to help all the being also can free from the samsara. Because this uh, determination, inspiration, leading us want to free of the being's suffering, of this intention free of being suffering, already practice the great compassion. And great compassion is the root of bodhicitta. Without this great compassion, no matter how hard we cultivate, Buddha already told us, without bodhicitta, all the merits we accumulate, all the good deeds, we did. It will not lead us to attain our Buddha wood. So the seed of attain the Buddha wood actually is bodhicitta. And the bodhicitta is the result of practicing our great compassion, unconditional love. There is no objective there is no subjective, there is no you and the I. So that is a very high level of cultivation. That is a second most critical component in our cultivation path. The bodhicitta has a relative true bodhicitta and the two highest level or ultimate true bodhicitta. In order to practice and walking on this uh, self-cultivation path, we need to learn from Buddha's wisdom. 
in order we can transform our ordinary wisdom, have a subjective, objective, this kind of gap, we need transform to Buddha's wisdom. In Buddhist terminology, we say it's a empathy pramita wisdom. Buddha's wisdom is emptiness. In order we are able to actually reach to the level of awakened one's wisdom, we need to learn from all the awakened ones, all turn direction of Buddha, Bodhisattva's wisdom. With the first component of renunciation, the most important driven engine, Bodhicitta, work together with all the progress of the self-learning, self-cultivation, learning from awakened ones, Buddha's wisdom, pramita empty wisdom. With this true pramita wisdom, we are able to comply with all these three components together because its compliance is with the Buddha pramita wisdom. With these three components, always appliances together, it's not by steps. Actually, it initially is by steps. Once these three components of uh, contents we practice, then we need to all apply it together, life after life. No matter in which room we will be reimbursed to, we need always keep in mind, practice and non-stop. So that is a very brief way to understand how challenge, how difficult for this cell cultivation path. And the last one, you also will have another Buddhist philosophy on the path of Bodhisattva practice. So we are going to share another part on the future videos. But today, I just would like to share with everyone. In order we can attain awakened one's wisdom, in order we can attain the Buddha word, the most important driven engine is bodhicitta. That is the most important element to compliance the other two together. So I wish you enjoy my short sharing today and hope in the future you will join me again on this path of self-cultivation and see you next time.